My Greek Diary, τι κάνεις. Εγώ είμαι καλά. Ε, έτσι και έτσι. Ε, it's raining. The whole day has been raining. But, you know what? I don't care. I am living in Manchester and that's part of the, let's say, of the enjoyment of being here. <laughs> but today I'm going to carry on with my Greek and I'm going to be focused on just five of the Greek uh, letters of the alphabet. Okay? There are many, so I'm going to be just focused on the first five. Okay? So, let's go! The first one, the first uh, Greek letter uh, is alpha. Alpha. We saw it before with the vowels. Okay? Alpha. So, alpha, uh, we can see alpha in andio, andio, oh, hora, hora, which means country, a alpha. Uh, that a uh, sounds like animal. Okay, uh, America sounds like a alpha. All right, move on. The next Greek letter uh, is beta. I'm gonna check. Ohi, ohi, ohi. Vita, vita. <laughs> oh, Dios mío. Oh my God. Vita, vita. This v, vita. Um, Sounds a bit like um, the V sound or in English, okay? In Spanish, we don't really have this sound, but I think I can do it. Vita. What type of words we've got? For instance, we've got a uh, velio. To velio. To velio means uh, Belgium. Belgium. And we've got Velio. Also, we've got a catalaveno. Then catalaveno. It's a ve. Then catalaveno. I don't understand. Ve. Okay? Vita. V. Then catalaveno. Velio. To velio. Okay? Let's go to the third one. The third one is gamma. Gamma. That kind of sound for me is a bit weird, even though in the Spanish we kind of have it. Okay? It's like g, g, g. That kind of g sound. <laughs> Sorry if I laugh, but it's kind of funny when you try to pronounce these kind of letters that you are not used to. Is You have to make fun of yourself, please. Especially when you look at the mirror. Sometimes I do. I'm looking at the mirror, g, and I'm just having fun with myself. Please, don't think I'm crazy, all right? Because I am not. So, when do we have that gamma? Gamma. That gamma also is going to sound a bit differently depending, okay, depending on, on the vowel as well, all right? So, for instance, we've got yasas, yasas. That doesn't have that good sound. It's more like yasas, yasas. That's the gamma. Then we've got e galia, e galia, France. Ne ne ne, e galia, galia. Also, you remember Belgium? To Belgio, to Belgio. It's a g. Sounds more g. We've got ligo, ligo. G, ligo. So sometimes it's gonna have that g sound like ligo, ligo. Galia. Oh, no, no, ohi. I galia. The accent is important in Greek. I galia. Or sometimes it's going to have that yasas, like in English, year, year. So We've got two different sounds in here, okay? We will develop more as long as we carry on with our learning process. Or at least I carry on with my learning process, okay? The fourth letter is delta. Delta. For instance, where do we have delta? 
Εν, εδώ, εδώ, τα δι, δι, εδώ, δ, ok? Also we have δύο, the number, δύο, δύο. Remember δέντρο, ok? Oh, oh, όχι, 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 ui, you remember tree? My goodness, I'm making mistakes here. Δέντρο, δέντρο. Δέντρο, δ, δ. Οκ, so, εδώ, δ. We've got δύο, δύο. Το δέντρο, το δέντρο. Οκ. Φάβλιος. And the fifth one, οκ, is going to be εψιλον. Εψιλον, we also saw it with the vowels. When are we going to have εψιλον? So, also in, oh right, yeah, we've got also epsilon, e, in dendro, dendro, to dendro, oh, e si, e, e si. That sound is like e, like elephant, or e, e, elegant, that kind of e sound, okay? So those are our five letters for today, at least for me along with the pronunciation, especially gamma, gamma, vita, v, eh, v, delta. In Spanish alphabet, we, uh, or at least myself, I am not that used to these sounds, okay? With English, if you are an English speaker, I, I think probably for you would be a bit easier The, ch the challenge here is how to combine them, how to say them, and how to also adjust all your muscles. Because remember, uh, the pronunciation is quite important, okay? And don't be scared, don't feel shy to make mistakes, because part of the enjoyment and the beauty of learning a language is basically to, to be able to make mistakes and to learn from them, okay? Unless you are perfect, Uh, which I doubt because what is perfection? Okay, I'm gonna be philosophic here. Okay, what is perfection? Perfection it depends on you, it depends on the eye of the beholder. Someone very close to me told me that the beauty and the perfection depends so depends on the person that is looking at you. So please just make mistakes and feel free and feel happy with them, okay? And learn from them. That's the main point as well, isn't it? Okay. Ah, andio! Yasu! Yasas! Taleme meta! Filakia!